Dave Tack, are you ready to program people like computers? Yes. That's the correct answer. This is Good. human resource machine. This is a very complex game that I'm going to try to do my best to explain the mechanics as we go. This is a new game for the creators of uh, Little Inferno. If you played that that one. Mm-hmm. So basically, you're an, you're you play as uh, an office drone. That's you uh, in, in the upper left hand corner. It's a striking resemblance. And yes. what you see on the right is a list of commands, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, you have a task. They range from simple to really, really, really not simple. Okay. Uh, and you have to program your little drone there with a series of commands that will help him achieve the task, right? So All right. Uh, what you see now in this one, we are to uh, we are supposed to. Uh, I'm I'm making a note in this section of code, right? If right. the number I pick up is zero, this is what will happen. I'll go to that section of code. That's just to remind myself. Okay. To go to the zero section, okay? The zero, Stick with okay. the zero section, okay? So in the, in this one, we have to, uh, uh, if we have, we, we get a number, and we want to put the number that we get in the outbox, and then every number that follows it up to zero into the outbox, okay? So if we mm -hmm. have a four, we want to put a four into the inbox, and then a three into the inbox, and then a two into the inbox, and then a one into the inbox. Okay. Got it. And then a zero into the inbox, and then we're done. That's the end of it. That's the end of it, but then we got to go back to get the next number, right? There's four no. there in the inbox. You see that? There's four okay. in the inbox. Okay. Four. Yeah. Uh, I'm realizing now I could have started with a simpler puzzle, but I don't... But mm. but this is the one I, cop, uh, I uh, captured, so this is what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So... Uh, if we see, look at the list of commands I have right there. We can kind of see, uh, get some clarity to this. So the first command I have is inbox, right? So that'll right. get the first number from the inbox. Uh, you can ask for hit hints from this woman. That's what she's doing there. It's not very helpful. Uh, that is how many commands, uh, 10 or fewer, this is supposed to be able to be done with. Um, okay. That's not happening in this no. particular run. Okay. 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 So, uh, if it's zero, then that's then that's all we need to do, right? So I have a jump. If it's zero, I have a jump to put it in the outbox and then go back to the beginning. Can you see that there? Jump to put it in the outbox. Yeah. Okay. So you see how it says jump at zero, and then there's that connecting line that goes down yeah. there. That's where it's going to go in the code, right? I see. Okay. So if I uh, if it's not a zero, though, we're going to copy it to those uh, nine boxes, one of those nine boxes you see there. You can use those however you like mm -hmm. uh, to copy numbers to. So if it's not a, uh, you can see there I'm rearranging where I think that jump is, jump of zero should be. I'm not exactly no. sure. Um, you can copy it there. So what we want to do ideally in this one is copy the number there, go drop the number in the out box, come back to our copy, and drop it down or up depending on if it's a positive or negative, so we can right. move it closer to zero. That's why we have the bump plus and bump minus numbers, right? I see that. Is that all clear as much? Like, the basic concept of what's happening, basically mm -hmm. clear. Y yes. Yes. So this game is a lot of, like, sta I don't expect this to make sense to you. There's a lot of me, like, I think this is one of the moments that we're in right now. There's a lot of me just sort of sitting back in my chair and really <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Just really, uh -huh. if you, if I had audio on myself during this part, it'd be a lot of, okay, now wait, 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 okay, okay, no, wait, okay, so step one, inbox, that's right, I know that's right, right. Um, and there's a lot of, like, rearranging your lines of code, uh, giving it a shot, rearranging it to see if it's, uh, you know, if it's worthwhile or not, I could explain what's going on there, but it's really, it doesn't really matter, like because my solution will probably be different than anyone else's. The interesting thing is that you can actually maximize your uh, there are challenges that, that you saw that uh, that do, for doing it as efficiently as possible uh, by cutting down your number of commands, right? So okay. So just to give an example, if I have a command that like once it's zero, once the number is zero, if the number I initially picked up was a zero, I drop in the outbox to go back to the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. But that sec that sequence is the same even I I if I had to raise or lower the number. I need a way for it to stop, basically. 
I see. So I, if I don't have that in there, like for instance, if it's a four, if it's that four, he would lower it to, uh, uh, this is me giving it a whirl. I, okay. uh, I don't think it's gonna happen this time. So, okay. okay, this is good. You can watch what's happening here. So he's copying from zero, he's dropping it down. He's putting in the outbox. Right. He's dropping it, one, putting it in the outbox. Out dropping it to zero, putting it in the outbox. Uh. Goes back and finds it's a zero, and oh no, I don't have a step in there to stop him. No. no. Yep. No. Nope. So you can go back and debug. <laughs> and say, okay, well this is, that, that was garbage. I need to fix this problem I have. So, so there are like multiple solutions to everything. Yeah, theoretically, like. you can come up with a lot of really complex solutions. Um, you and can, the reward is something as, as simple as possible. Yes, right. That's that's the ideal. Um, I thought they were joking when they put those little tags that you can write on in there. They are not joking. That nope. is not a goof. Um, <laughs> in addition to this puzzle mechanic, uh, which is genuinely rewarding once you figure it out. Uh, uh, there is sort of a, a uh, sort of like Little Inferno, there's sort of a story happening in the background about mm -hmm. uh, some sort of vast calamity facing humanity that has to do with AI um, mm -hmm. that I that I think, I sped it up here because I think I had it right. Nope, I did not. Not so much. <laughs> did not have it right. Uh, and, and you kind of unfurl that as you go from level to level and you're moving up the ranks in this corporation as you solve these puzzles and get get promotions. So, how's the ramp up to here? Uh, this is like the the I would say the 17th or 18th level. They okay. are at the outset very um, a lot simpler than this. Uh, I I was pretty consistently finding the shortest solution, um, but uh, once you get to this point, there was a stage right before this, for example, where I had to if I had a negative number, I had to remove its negative. And I had absolutely no idea how to do it until I realized that I could subtract the negative from the negative and then subtract the negative again to get right. the positive. I mean, it's stuff like that. It's um, math. It's, it's a math game. It's a math game, and it makes you good at problem solving and it make you very smart. Look do at you this. feel smart? I feel smart when I see something like this and my beautiful solution's working. Look at that. Look at them go out. You get promoted. Oh. So they're happy. I didn't. Now I didn't. I didn't achieve that, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Didn't. Whoa. Defo mm. did not achieve that. But uh. But, but you, you do get an elevator ride. Yeah, and see, you, uh, there's lots more to come after that. It's genuinely a lot of fun. I know it's hard to make look a game where you program math fun, <laughs> but I promise it is very enjoyable. Uh, at least I think it's enjoyable. If it gets much harder, it's gonna outpace me pretty quickly. But mm -hmm. that's Human Resource Machine from Tomorrow Corporation. It's like that 10 is bucks. the weirdest, uh, kind of the weirdest game ever. Yeah, it's very, very weird. But Little Inferno is weird. It's a game where you just burn crap. Also yeah. true. Also true. But anyway, it's uh, on Steam and GOG and Mac and PC, and uh, it's like ten bucks. 